Great to see you all. I'm Val Williams, and I'm introducing this uh, session, Who Owns the Archive? And um, I think you'll agree that there's talks this morning, in a way, they could also be in this, this session, because they, they begin to raise that question of what do we do and how do we deal with this material which constantly is erupting. We, we think we know where everything is, and then suddenly there's a whole set of other things that we've possibly never heard of, and, we, and we're we have to look at the ways of placing them. Um, today we're going to look at four very different archives, all of which in their own way have had to encounter displacements, revisions, refiguring, and the title of the session prompt, prompted me to think about the notion of tools. Um, what means do we use and when do we explore these contentious, fragile organisms, which I think truly believe that archives are, with their gaps, their pronouncements, and their sometimes really baffling content. And I know that some of our speakers today are going to explore that in some depth. And the personalities that crowd through them, people we may never know, we, we may never have known, but suddenly we're getting to know them through this rather strange means of getting to know someone. And they can feel very baffling and insubstantial. So I think we're going to have a re really rewarding session this afternoon, indeed, for the rest of the conference. And I just want to say, first of all, before I introduce the panellists, I want to say thanks to Tate and thanks to the fellow fast forwards, forwarders and all our speakers and chairs and to everyone who's come along today to discuss and debate, because our expertise doesn't just reside with the speakers. I've already heard voices this morning which have a deep and intense knowledge of this field of archives, of women in photography, and, and I'm sure there are lots of other voices that we haven't heard that have that same kind of level experience. So please, let's all join together in our debate and discussion as equals to discuss something that we've specifically chosen to look at over all these years. Um, so our speakers in order, in reverse order, um, the last speaker will be Jean Wainwright, who's been conducting interviews with international artists over 20 years, and many of her audio interviews are now in the Tate archives. She's the Professor of Contemporary Art and Photography at the University for the Creative Arts, and she's published extensively and appeared on television and radio. So welcome, Jean, to our gathering. Um, Sarah Davidman is an artist and photographer. Her work's been internationally exhibited and published, and Sarah is a Senior Research Fellow at the London College of Communication, University of the Arts London, UAL, and a member of the UAL Photography in the Archive Research Centre Park, which is where, where I also work. Um, thirdly is Sabina Gadhoki, and I very much apologise, um, Sabina, if I've pronounced your name wrongly. Um, she's an associate professor at the AJKMCRC at Jamila Milia Islamia, New Delhi. She started her career as a documentary filmmaker and camera person. She's written a book on India's first woman press photographer, Homei Vayorawala, sorry, and curated several shows on Indian photography. Her current research focuses on the intersection of photography and popular cinema. And our first speaker is Charlene Heath, who's the archivist at the Ryerson Image Centre, RIC, in Toronto, Canada. She's worked as a photography instructor, curatorial intern, and archivist at the Nova Scotia College of Art and Design, Libraries and Archives Canada, the National Gallery of Canada, and the Toronto International Film Festival. Charlene holds a BFA in photography and an MA in photographic preservation and collections management and she sits on the board of directors at Gallery 44 Centre for Contemporary Photography in Toronto. And Charlene is our first speaker. <laughs> 